Yeah, this treat we got. A little Rolls Royce and Sault Ste. Marie. My life be like. What's up guys, as you can probably tell by the uh, thumbnail and title and now what I'm wearing, uh, we're going golfing today, which is awesome. Uh, the governor of Michigan just yesterday announced that uh, golf courses will be open just as it's starting to warm up, which is awesome news for me. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Cooper Lukenda. I'm a D3 golfer and hockey player at uh, St. Olaf College. And we're just gonna go out to the uh, local course in uh, downtown Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Um, not my home course, but it's the only one open right now. So we're going to head out there, my dad and I, and, uh, get a nine hole match in and see how it goes. All right. So, uh, when we were down in Florida, we had a little match going every time we played, we'd play 18 holes, uh, for a little bet. So today we're going to play nine holes, uh, film it for you guys and play a little match play. I'm going to give them four strokes and uh, we have to come up with a little bet here before we get to the first tee to see uh, what we're playing for. We try to keep it interesting every time. Uh, if you don't know what match play is, it uh, just means on the uh, four hardest holes, he's going to get a uh, stroke advantage on that hole. So uh, if he gets a four, he actually gets a three just to keep it uh, just to keep it fair and keep it interesting. So uh, hopefully I can win this one, but he kind of was kicking my butt down in Florida. Still too shy to get on the camera, but uh, yeah, I will try to uh, film every one of my shots here and I'll try to get some of his, but uh, we'll see how this goes. club there's a, a lot of precautions in place as in like walking only as you can tell no carts I think the cups are raised but I'm not too sure yet we will uh, find that out soon I guess so we are uh, just wrapping up on 90 we decided to give the front nine to ourselves to warm up um, I gave him five strokes on the front and we are even right now so I'm gonna give him another five on the back and we'll see where this goes I had two lip out birdie putts that uh, did not help me in the scoring race, obviously. But it's a beautiful day out here. It is a tad bit windy, so if the uh, volume gets messed up, I apologize. But we're gonna do our best to film everything from here on out. Uh, hole ten's a par five. Water halfway down. Looks like it is 239 to carry the water. So. Let's get after it, let's get started.
So I was just about to say I was uh, striking the ball pretty well today, but uh, I hit that one about 100 yards right. Uh, that's of course pretty open though, so I should be fine. Uh, as you can see, getting my ball here, the hole is over there. So just trying to put one up over these trees, land it on the green. So I have 150 yards. I'm gonna try to put it in the front of my stance, put it over these trees and see how this goes. I think I'm deep. I think I put it over the green here. A little too much club. Oh, wow. Okay, that's jail. <laughs> Yep. Alright. That's what we got, I guess. Let's see what we can do. All right, we have a long look at par here. Let's see if we can sink it to save something. Tough start to the vlog, but what can you do? All right, we got another short par four, about 351 yards, uh, hole 11. Uh, we got a nice ship passing through in the background. Pretty cool course out here, it's right on the river. Uh, I'm probably gonna rip driver, let's see. All right, that was a little better of a drive there. Right down the middle, smoked it about, I don't know, maybe 80 yards from the green. We'll see when we get up there. yards uh, just gonna try to get a little aggressive here we'll see how it goes the ground's a little soft so sometimes you're getting under the ball but try to stick it close and make a birdie Not a bad chip there, about 10, 12 feet. There we are walking up, maybe it's more like six feet, eight feet. Pretty good. So I will say it looks pretty close and straight right here, but uh, if I miss this, this is my safety valve. It's not as close as it looks. Feels like I'm lipping out every single one of those. I needed that. 
that uh, par brings us back to even, so all square heading into 12. Looks like a uh, straightaway par four, 400 yards. A lot of par fours, so maybe the fives and threes will be coming later on, make it more interesting, but yeah, let's see it. Tell you what, I was hitting my driver well. As soon as I pull the camera out, can't hit, can't hit it for poop. What do you think, Dad? Or even on 12? Nervous? Got you right where I want. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cranked it, but a little right. And I am out of breath. Don't make fun. It's my off season. myself a little bit of a tester like six feet for par I think I can make it you can go ahead if you're ready what do you have that for bogey bogey Any of those. Just Down one going into 13. This is not good news. We uh, actually never set a bet. What do you want to bet this on? Who makes, dinner? Who makes dinner? There it is. I think I've been making dinner most nights, anyways, so. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Just the two of us up here. We've been cooking pretty well, eating pretty well. Not living too bad during this quarantine. Better uh, drive there, just up the right side. I think I might have a tree in my way, but par five, we should be fine. I just topped that, I don't wanna hear about it. Don't want to hear a word. This is a brutal display of golf we are giving you. Should have recorded the front nine, honestly. We both played a lot better. But uh, I guess we're tired, you know? 18, you forget how hard it is walking when you haven't done it in a long time. So I don't want to say this in front of him, but uh, he's choking. He's choking. I might have a chance here. I'm on in three. 
two putt par here. You put one in the water, so should be able to win this hole. And then uh, as long as I don't choke on 18, I should be able to win that one and push it. And we'll be splitting dinner, which I guess is not the best, but it's better than making it on my own. So we'll see. Okay, so here's the story going into 18. I am, uh, I've pulled it back within one. So uh, we don't like ties, apparently. We're playing this hole worth double. If I win, I win the hole. If I lose, I lose by three. Okay, we got 160. Uh, wind with us a little bit. I'm gonna try to get a nine iron there. I don't wanna hit an eight iron. I've kind of been hitting my irons a little long today, so. Yeah, left side of the green there, so my dad thinks he's on the right side. We will uh, we'll see, I guess. Well, this is what I'm looking at. Uphill, left to right breaker. Not good. It's for all the marbles. Good speed, but brutal read. This is what we're looking at. Must make. Do I have the clutch gene, hey? That's what we're thinking here. Every single one. Every single putt I seem to leave just outside. Let's see if it would have even mattered. Can you make this? Nope. Could have won. Ah, that's unfortunate. Get around. Alright, so we just finished up. What? He won. Uh, Tough go for me. I really blew up on the back nine. I definitely could have beat him. What do you think? Any final thoughts? <laughs> I was lucky to hold on. Oh man. Free dinner for that guy. What a brutal, brutal ending. Brutal round of golf. Hopefully, I can be better from here on out. Let's uh, check the scorecard out here. So uh, I finished out 43 for an 82. Not what you want to see, uh, especially on a par 35 back nine, but uh, you know, first round up in the Sioux, first round in a couple weeks, not too much to complain about, just, you know, want to beat my dad. 